so uh, thank you madam abha negi for uh, introducing me to the participants thank you mr rajiv tikku and thank you mr thank you uh, one world for organizing this uh, webinar and giving me this opportunity to speak to the participants uh, mr keserwani who has always been deeply involved in all our ministerial uh, efforts for community radio stations and i welcome all the participants and i i was patiently listening to the introduction and uh, i was very impressed with not only the scope of activities that they are into but also the tremendous uh, uh, interest that they have in the community radio station so welcome all of you and thank you the organizers for putting up this wonderful initiative through webinar only if not possible physically because of the situation that we are into in these days so coming to the community radio stations and the initiatives that government has been taking and uh, organizations like one world and other organizations have been taking i think community radio station perfectly fits into the prime minister's vision of vocal for local and another very important initiative which the honorable prime minister announced in today's uh, in this year's independence day and that was he added one phrase of sabka prayas so these two very uh, uh, interest evoking phrase and slogans and vision of the prime minister is perfectly in sync with the community radio movement in india in government we are generally concerned about the last mile connectivity we are able to make lot of good policies lot of good schemes large number of very well intended people and very hard working officers employees staff and other workers who are associated with the government initiatives they try to take things to the last man in the line so as to say the last mile but somewhere down the lane it appears that we have not done enough and we are not able to reach to the grassroots india is a very vast and diverse country with a huge population the diversity is in terms of levels of economic uh, levels of economic affluence their culture their languages their customs everything is very very diverse in a very short span of uh, distance and it is a big, big challenge for governments to take care and handle that diversity and bring everyone into the fold of the mainstream of uh, government functioning and government initiatives i think community radio station absolutely fits into that issue and can partner government in bringing the those initiatives to the last mile to the local people it can give voice to the local people for various initiatives like health education all social sector initiatives and also initiatives where in a disaster situation like we are in today's world in a pandemic situation when there is there are floods earthquake where news and news and information dissemination becomes the lifeline for many and that too on a real time basis i think community radio station perfectly fits into that role but yes while this provide this radio provides a great platform for people to connect in today's time according to one estimate there are 20 crore radio listenership in india so that leaves a huge population which is still outside the radio services so as to say 
and if we are able to bring this radio movement to the grassroots through community radio stations then it will give an opportunity for a large sections of our population to get into this radio listenership mode and benefit both ways from the social sector in point of view as well as from the economic point of view of creating skills creating jobs and also developing a market of their own because that will provide them a window to the outside world we live in an era where global is also local in a manner on the platforms that we have amazon and google and all these things we connect with everyone by a click of the mouse but in this uh, globalization in the process of globalization somewhere we are moving away from the local initiatives local concerns local problems i think community radio station is a wonderful opportunity for all to connect to solve their own problems to solve the society's problems to solve the country's problem and be a partner in the development process of the country so i welcome you all and i really appreciate your interest and uh, enthusiasm for uh, understanding the nitty gritties of the community radio stations i'm sure in this 3 uh, day workshop lot of inputs will be given to you uh, how to navigate first of all what is a community radio station how you can benefit from it how can you how can the community benefit from it how can personally you can benefit from it what are the processes where you can get a license from the government for establishing a community radio station what are the capital initiatives that you need to put in place for setting up a community radio station what is the technological requirement it is i'm sure not a great requirement and there are people to handhold and guide you in this uh, webinar also there will be uh, sessions where you will be taken through this process so i really urge you to utilize this webinar to the fullest remove all your doubts satisfy your queries know about community radio stations how to set up what are the government regulations how you can get benefit financially also from the government we have a scheme to support the community radio station and which provides financial support also so get all those information from this 3 day webinar i have seen that there are lot of very good topics which cover practically all aspects of community radio station so my sincere request would be that you make full use of this this 3 days and uh, make yourself aware of uh, what this uh, movement is all about and how and how you can set up this uh, community radio station uh, another thing that i would like to mention here is that we were in the government we are not very satisfied with the progress that we have made in the community radio station so far so i am told that uh, till date we have some 329 crs stations which are functional in the entire country and this is not a number which gives us uh, a, a satisfaction in such a huge and vast country where the needs of at the grassroots are immense we would like this number to be many fold in fact we would like to double it in less than one year or two years so one initiative which we have just discussed is that we are going to have a concept note which we will take up for necessary approvals where we are going to have lead community radio stations in each region we have to think about the region whether it would be a state or a smaller unit because some of the states are very large so we can have multiple lead community radio stations in one big state also the primary role of this uh, lead community radio station would be to scout within their region and identify possible applicants for crs and also handhold them through the process through the various nitty gritties of uh, setting up of a community radio station 
and on the other hand we are connect to the ministry and other uh, organizations which are working in the field like one world and, uh, and others so that there is a greater connect with the potential uh, aspirants for the crs another uh, thing that uh, we have discussed uh, is to set up a help desk which will be a standing help desk and uh, we will be able to draw people from the re uh, the regional crs stations which are already functioning and uh, as far as the lead crs is concerned we will be looking at the option of giving them a recognition as a lead CRS station, some form of certificate, which they can have, and that will provide some legitimacy and you know, an authorization from the government side that they have the wherewithal and government recognizes them to be a an active player in the CRS movement. The other thing would be that why NGOs? There are large number of representatives from the NGO side. Why? they in their activities they take up lot of social activities like health education rain har rain harvesting assisting people in crisis skilling etc they should also consider uh, skilling for community radio station that as part of their uh, agenda or when they uh, develop the moa or whatever so they can also take as part of their initiatives to popularize community radio station to inform people or scout people who are potential candidates who can be potential beneficiaries as well or in their view they consider that if they set up a community radio station it will be a great advantage to them in taking forward their uh, aims and objectives of the organization that they are working with so i will request uh, all the uh, representatives from the ngos uh, side and all different organizations that they are here to consider this aspect also and be a part of this process and uh, shoulder and be helping the government uh, because from the ministry there is a limitation to which we can connect we can provide the ecosystem we can provide the necessary where with all the guidelines framework which can facilitate these processes but at the end of the day we need people who can do the leg work who can uh, do the last mile connectivity so as to say who can shoulder the responsibility of being vocal for local and who can demonstrate that their efforts so as to say sabka prayas is movement ke sath hai so with these words uh, i congratulate each one of you once again and i wish the organizers one word that uh, they will take these three days uh, to a, a very very fruitful uh, period of discussions and deliberations and for the benefit of all the uh, participants here and we hope that many of them will be able to apply for uh, 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 community radio stations and also set up community radio stations and whatever uh, financial and other support that we can provide from the ministry we assure within our framework of uh, government whatever is possible we provide we will provide them all the support and all the assistance in all hand holding so with these words i i uh, wish this uh, uh, three day workshop a great success and uh, inaugurate this workshop thanks a lot thanks a lot thank you